In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this testimonial section, moving testimonial boxes section. And it's fairly simple. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to create a new page here from scratch, but I'm just going to cover the testimonial section. So first thing first, we have to recreate those boxes in here. And the way we're going to do that is starting by giving this black background. Then I'm going to start designing this. So first thing is the text. So that will be white. And let's use Montserrat, my favorite font. And then I'm just going to copy. Uh, so that will be here. Wait, what is the actual text? Okay. And yeah, there's a better way to do this. I'm going to show you how. All right. So we have to create a component for the testimonial box. So that will be fixed 300 pixels, something like that. Then we go into wrap it inside a stack. Testimonial box. Card. I'm going to call this card. And then I'm going to give it padding 25. So this will be fit content now. Switch to fit content. Let's say here. Uh, then we need those here so i'm just gonna copy them uh either way you can just click on the link in the first this uh i mean the first link in the description so you can remix the project and just copy past this box inside of your project so this one i'm going to change the direction to horizontal and then align to the left and then I'm going to put that here, then we only need the name. So the name is just another text. So this is here, copy pass, and then let's say, I'm just going to put my name here, put it 12, add spacing letters. You can choose, I prefer, so depending on your branding, for this one, let's say I'm going to add Transform, is it paragraph? No, this is not it. How do I add transform? Yeah, uppercase. All right, and then let's add a small spacing. Make it perfect. So now we add a color to the box. Click on fill on styles. Then I'm gonna give it Yeah, okay. Then we add a border. So the border is gonna be light gray. Sounds good. And then we're gonna add a gap. So let's say uh, 18. 18 is perfect. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is create a component for the testimonial card. And then we're gonna add a hover effect. And in the hover effect, I'm going to just give a slight difference here, like this. And then I'm going to create a variable. So that will be text. Yeah, just leave it test. Text, I mean. And then that will allow us to create multiple testimonials. So I'm just going to add the layout. And then let me just take another one here. Okay. And 
then also for the name we need to add a variable so plain text and then we're gonna do name so let's say this one would be my second name so we're just gonna say it's in and then let's create another one and then that will be Julian all right so now we have our testimonial so now how do we make them moving like this one here the way you're gonna do that is let me show you that so first thing first we want to have component I mean the ticker component you're gonna understand what I'm doing here. So we have the testimonials stacked up. So what we're gonna do is we have this, and we can do this, and then change the color. more testimonials whatsoever. But for the sake of the example, yeah, let me just add more testimonials here. Okay, so that would be here, David. And then this one, okay. Okay, now we can start the actual carousel ticker. So we add a ticker that will be here like this and then so i'm gonna add a stack that will be fill and then that will be like this yeah that's correct right now this one the direction is going going to be horizontal moving to the top So that's 3, 380, 380, 380. And you, all you have to do is connect them to this. And this one, we're gonna change the direction to bottom. Do this, do this. We do this and this one we're going to change the direction again and we're going to mix it so we're going to be let's say this one here and then this one and then this one so now if we preview we have this also what we want to do is go to click on the ticker and then we're going to do the ping. What is that? Yeah, the speed can do 100%. Or, you know, play with it, let's say 80. So this one is going to be a little bit slower compared to the others. And then the last one. So the hover, when, you know, like when you're hovering, what's happening? Is it like go slower or faster? I'd like to slow the things down. So like this one here. And then when we preview and we move like we hover over, it's going to slow down. And we can do that even more exaggerated. So 0.2, I try. So like the, the person can actually read the comment. And then if we move out, out it's going to get back to its uh, original speed and so that's pretty much it for the tutorial don't forget just click on the link in the description to remix this project and copy it directly in your own project so you can have the same thing and pretty much easily uh, you know customizable just change the colors here whatever that might be for you and you're good to go so yeah that's it see you next time